welcome to another video. Walk on the Wild Side of Nine here in Blackpool. I am up here on North Promenade, just opposite Lansdowne Crescent, the Claremont Hotel, Tiffany's Hotel, this one here, the big pink one. And I'm just stood above Middle Walk. Yeah, I've spoken about Middle Walk many times on the channel, yeah, just down here, this roadway here which goes all the way along from here right the way up to Ginn Square right up there it's uh, probably about three quarters of a mile or something like that now middle walk is brilliant for walking walking your dog riding your bike where it's not so brilliant is at night so uh, <laughs> yeah it's a little bit notorious at night now just lately in the last month or so they've actually closed off the walkways that you go from here on the promenade the colonnades the walkways that go down to middle walk the council closed them all off so you can't get down to the beach from here i was speaking to a business owner up here and he says it's it's wrong he said the council shouldn't be doing this you should have an access point somewhere they could have closed them one by one let's go and take a little look but what's going on? Check it out, Blackpool Tower, yeah? So this is where I am, just down there, it's a Metropole Hotel, it pretty much starts just north of the Metropole, Middle Walk. I'll uh, just wave into someone over the road, <laughs> I'm always getting spotted aren't I? Look at this view here, look, look at this, we're high up here of course, we're looking down over North Pier, and uh, the weather today is a little bit breezy, not so brilliant, not that warm, but uh, the sea looks actually surprisingly calm, and just above the beach patrol headquarters just down here their headquarters are actually underneath the pavement here but if we walk up here a bit you'll see what uh, this guy was talking about where they've closed off all these walkways that lead down to middle walk so this part of the promenade here was uh, constructed in 1926 it opened in 1926 this part of Blackpool Promenade and the colonnades or the colonnades I don't know how you say it actually it was all designed by an, arch an architect called JC Robinson a council architect who designed loads of buildings in Blackpool libraries the Parks Cafe at Stanley Park uh, quite a lot of buildings in Blackpool this is one of the one of his designs uh, brilliant like I say cracking place loads of events go on here they do the bus driver of the year competition they did the fun run last week that started here on the middle walk and they also have car meets as well so it's a cracking space we'll take a look but i'm going to have to walk all the way up to gin square and round to get down there unless i go that way i could go that way i suppose be a bit quicker but anyway let's uh, turn the camera around and i'll show you what's going on so we're now just opposite uh, the best western hotel over there we're at pleasant street and as you can see here look look at this here all this has been fenced off i don't know how long it's been fenced off for i think i think it's been fenced off for quite a while now the council will probably say it's been fenced off for safety reasons while they did work on it i think anyone for fleetwood ferry on the Blackpool tram check it out anyway look at this here yeah what do you reckon now the person I was talking to reckons if they had to do work on these they could have done them one at a time and at least people would have chance to get down to the to the to middle walk or onto the beach from here what do you think I don't know so if we look this way, you can see we've got another one there. But the, the, the grand structures, aren't they? We've also got this walkway down here as well. So if it's raining, you can get out of the rain there. But as you can see, the whole lot all the way up there, all closed off. 
I can hear sirens, it's kicking off in Blackpool. Now middle walk, like I say, cracking place, little bit notorious, it's got a bit of a reputation. It's been a bit neglected in the last few decades. I'd probably say, well, since Blackpool started to decline in the 70s, uh, this part of the town here particularly has become a bit of a, well, it's become known for something else rather than like a, a nice place to walk, you know. Uh, it's become a bit of a, well, <laughs> get alcoholics down here, drug, druggies, oh, get all sorts of goings. It all happens down here, middle of the world, but it only tends to happen in the stupid hours you know i'm talking like at night uh i remember reading the when i used to read the gazette in the olden days I used to get the gazette and there was always stories in there about people being attacked down here and it sounded terrible i'm going back to the sort of 80s and 90s all the time every week there was something going on down here but it always happened at a stupid time like two o'clock in the morning or something so i'm not saying it's a bad place to go it's a cracking place to go just don't come down here at two o'clock in the morning so we're now approaching the grand imperial hotel look at that there the imperial 1865 some very famous guests have stayed at the imperial yeah, so the Imperial was built long before any of this and as you can see we've got another you can't even walk around there you know I love these because they're like a, a grand sort of what would you call it, like a grand veranda where you can you can get a cracking view of the sea but you can't really use them today but uh, anyway there's a look at the the Imperial Hotel. That's my favourite, my favourite hotel on at Blackpool Promenade. Charles Dickens, Heads of State, Winston Churchill, Bill Clinton, all stay at the Imperial. So I'm now making my way down to the third walkway. It's brightening up a bit. Look at this. I think the sun might come out in a minute. Hey, look at that over there. I can see rays coming out of the clouds. Wow, look at that. What a view. Can't beat it in Blackpool. That's a nice view, isn't it? Looking straight towards the tower. Just look at this grand structure here, isn't it? It's a bit of a shame, isn't it? That it's uh, been neglected. But hopefully this work they're doing to it will, uh, you know, will make sure that uh, it's here for another hundred years or so. So if you're coming out of one of these hotels here, like this one here, the President, or maybe uh, the, the Strand Hotel, <laughs> the, the, the Strand Hotel, Alan Bradley, Coronation Street, Reacher. <laughs> that's the one there, folks, yeah. That's where Alan Bradley came running out of there, chasing after Rita, and he came running over here, and he got knocked down by a tram. Well, pretty much right here. This is the spot, folks. This is it. This is where the famous baddie, Alan Bradley, was taken out by a tram balloon 710 right here you know I sometimes wonder if I'm going to get taken out by a tram one, the, one of these days because uh, I'm always on the tram tracks and they're always ringing the bell at me because you know in the olden days um, the Alan Bradley tram the old balloon trams they were dead noisy weren't they dead. you can hear them running up and down the, you know the heritage ones and they're so noisy aren't they and yet these new ones you can't even hear them <laughs> the amount of times they've had to honk the horn or ring the bell at me is unbelievable uh, anyway we're now coming up to the grand hotel i'll just turn you around so there's the grand hotel Previ it was originally built as the pembroke and then it became i think it was the stackis 
and then the Hilton it had a nightclub as well called Springs who remembers Springs yeah and now it's now a Britannia hotel yeah so there you go so we're now just coming up to in fact I'm not keeping count here I mean, how many of these things are there I thought this was the did I say the last one was a four there's one let's see how many there are sorry for not keeping count but as you can see this one's closed as well they're all closed so uh, I'm going to go down here to Gin Square and then what we'll do is when we get to Gin Square we'll go down onto Middle Walk and we'll have a look down there shall we check it out the Grand Hotel you know the windows on this building are all angled so that whatever room you're in you get a chance to see the view of the sea now here's another one another bit of history for you this spare land here next door to the Grand Hotel is where the Derby Baths were the famous Derby Baths demolished in 19 I think it was 1990 yeah seawater does anyone remember the Derby Baths they were right there and nothing has ever been built there since but we're coming downhill now a bit now and we've now got this final walkway just over here let's go and have a little look at this shall we okay so we're now looking up Worley Road and the, the Derby Baths went up there on the corner of Worley Road and this road by the way faces almost exactly east-west almost exactly so if you ever come down here on an equinox you'll get to see the sunrise somewhere over there and you'll get to see the sunset to the west there you go that building there is called the Cherry Blossom Inn and it's called that because uh, I believe the original owners of it owned the shoe polish Cherry Blossom yeah there you go you're learning stuff on this channel all the time but we've now got to the final walkway and as you can see it's the same story all closed off and there's another thing as well <laughs> if you've ever been down these things you'll know what I'm talking about they do smell a little bit yes okay so I'm now going to head up to Gin Square and I'm going to turn around and we'll come down onto Middle Walk so let me know what you think um, would it have been a better idea to close off them off one by one because it is quite a long walk if you're coming out of one of these hotels here and you want to get onto the middle walk or onto the beach it's a bit of a long walk round isn't it what do you think let me know in the comments okay so we're coming down now down this bit of a hill towards Gin Square just over here they're setting up for the illuminations they've got the Spitfire model in the middle there just up here is the Savoy Hotel it starts to go uphill again there and I'll turn round here so nice viewpoint there by the way the Hole in the Wall Cafe as well just down here check it out let's, let's have a look down here shall we uh, I don't think it's open today yeah but anyway just look at this view here wow oh you know what it might be a bit breezy but the wind is coming from the south and the the sea actually looks really really calm but we're now on middle walk check it out so i'm going to walk down here all the way to the other side and we'll take a look at the, the work that's going on down here they've actually closed all of the walkway off you can't even walk underneath the promenade check this out I'll just turn it around for you look at that there now the promenade hangs over on like a cantilever there as you can see and the whole lot wow you know it's all original this down here you know the promenade still got the original railings probably from when they first built it all this here as well I'm just heading down onto Lower Walk because I want to show you something just down here 
we've actually got a building sticking out here from the sea wall can you see this building here now that building there houses a pump I don't know if the pump's still there but that pump that was the pump house for the Derby Bass yeah that there that was the pump house for the Derby Bass which was just opposite but if we look down here let's have a look can we see oh look at this now you see it all on this channel don't you can you see we've got some pipes going into the sea there are those the pipes that took the water into the Derby Bass there you go the whole lot fenced off so if you're staying at any of these hotels up here the Grand Hotel the Imperial the President the Strand you've got quite a walk around if you want to get down here onto this part of the beach I'll just show you this sign here this gives you some idea about what I was talking about police notice there has been a recent increase in the number of violent crimes occurring in this area I expect this notice is quite old I'd say that that's quite old that yeah probably goes back a few years yeah so there's five of these uh, walkways all together and as you can see look at this isn't it awesome this long stretch here between Ginn Square and the Metropole to walk along, to walk your dog, to ride your bike it's awesome isn't it? now just look at the view you get when you look this way wow can't get enough of this you know wouldn't you just love to be here in Blackpool right now I'll just show you this other sign here slightly different to the other one uh, you know you shouldn't really need to put signs like this up people should know how to behave but uh, obviously quite a few don't check it out I've just found a section here which is having work done on it look at this we've got scaffolding up here uh, actually I don't think that's scaffolding I think that they're uh, what do you call them those things that hold up uh, ceilings and that look at this so uh, is that a sign of the condition that they're in that they have to put these uh... can anyone let me know what they call complete my mind's gone blank and I can't think of what they call these things yeah so they're actually doing some work on this one by the look of it but they put these uh, supports up anyway in there um, so that's uh, but could they have closed them off one by one that's the question that is the question yes but I'll tell you one thing about closing all this off it'll keep the beer monsters out because uh, I have mentioned it's quite notorious along here underneath here these walkways underneath the promenade there where it overhangs uh, <laughs> it's uh, a very popular spot for beer monsters but at least it's keeping them out you know it's amazing what grows up here wild on these cliffs here this artificial crazy paving type cliffs yeah and uh, just look at that I can't get enough of that view it's amazing isn't it just here we're almost up to the beach patrol which is just up there we've got a couple of containers here whether these containers have got uh, gear in to, to work on this but that's how middle walk looks access is denied okay I'm now back to where I started almost I started just up there on the main promenade opposite Lansdowne Crescent yeah so that was a little video about middle walk and about how it's all sort of closed off down here yeah for work if I find out anything I'll let you know but I haven't been able to find out how long this work's going to take uh, it could be up all winter couldn't it you don't know but uh, the person I was talking to said it was a really really bad time to start and he also said that uh, obviously closing the whole lot at once was a bad idea 
and they probably should have closed it bit by bit let me know what you think in the comments anyway about that but that's it for this video i hope you like it if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i'll see you again on the next one